Right, today we're going to be checking out a bunch of hinge stories which are creepy, weird, funny, and relatable. So let's go ahead and check them out right now. All right, story number one. I got cyberbullied. Okay, I'm a 24-year-old girl living in India. I'm Indian as well. I'm writing with. I'm writing this with the hope that some of you will resolve my emotional distress. I matched with a 26 year old man on Hinge two days ago who lives in my city. We chatted quite a bit in the morning and afternoon and everything seemed alright. I made the stupid decision to give him my contact number but at night he started to become paranoid claiming that I was cheating on him as I still talked to other people on the application after matching with him as if we were in a serious relationship. Despite my efforts to console him and resolve the issues he kept ac accusing me of outplaying him. I decided, I decided to end the conversation with him to which he replied he knows my gym where I go on a daily basis. I had not disclosed this information to him. I kept insisting him to tell me who gave this information but he did not budge. He later on called me to resolve this and tried to manipulate it, in manipulating it saying he likes me and is making an effort to talk about me. That is weird. <laughs> Anyways, he began threatening me that he works for the LRU, Local Intelligence Unit, and can get my personal information in five minutes. I should not mess with him. I tried ghosting and he said he my family's name, my workplace, and how he would keep on sending flowers and cakes there until I forgive him. He kept on pestering me to go on a date with him, saying I've no free will and I have to agree to whatever he says. That is absolutely terrifying. That's a red flag right there. At this point, I was terrified and I cried to my friend who asked me to block this person on WhatsApp call calls and messaging before blocking him I, to I called him, called him to ask to leave my life peacefully and he replied the same again also mentioning tum dekh lo tum me jo karna hai main dekh lunga mujhe kya karna hai apne aur tumhare saath basically translation that means you watch out you watch your back i will do whatever i want with you and your information essentially that's the translation of that which is absolutely really really creepy i'm really scared I don't want to, I don't want to involve the police right now as I've not told my family, but my close friends are aware. Please guide me what I can do, calm myself, and in case, God forbid, he tries interfering in my life again. Okay, firstly, this lighting is making me look really yellow, but as, 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 otherwise, let's go ahead and, and help her out. So, basically, this girl definitely needs to block him on all social media apps, report him to the police, report him to, you know, ask, ask people to protect you, you know, keep your eye out for a freaking weirdo like this guy and, and you definitely have to tell your family so they can, you know, keep an eye out for, for this creep and, okay, end date wasn't great like she said. I matched a month ago with a very friendly and nice person and we had two days go our first date. We didn't go any special things. We did only walk around the town in a cafe and eat dinner. Since the date, I have felt a certain distance. He doesn't answer as quickly as before and yesterday nothing came except for a like. I'm just confused because before the meeting, the answer was pretty fast. He said that she liked the date, but I'm thinking she's lying and don't want to meet me anymore. Firstly, welcome to dating in 2024. Give yourself a round of applause. And secondly, um, I I'll just say move on. Like if she if she wants you, she if she wants it, she wants it at the end of the day, you know? And um you can't really force somebody to like you. I'm sure you'll find a better girl around who are pre who replies to you as super quick after the second date, after the first date. So Adel Dai King. All right. Moving on. The audacity of men. I'm a man. Let, 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 let's see what we what we what we've done. So this is not me, by the way, just to clarify. So I, 18 year old female installed hinge and met this guy who's a 19 year old male. We started talking on IG. I had barely been a few hours since we met when he first called me cute. I complimented him back seeing that he had a Greek god curl and that, that are breathtaking. This man without hesitating for a second says, our children will have curly hair if you have any. I was like, excuse me? What happened to hello? How are you? Further in the same conversation, he asked me for a kiss. Keep in mind we're still texting. I refuse. He says something along the lines, please, I'm asking so nicely. It's not something I do often, which is kind of uh, weird, but still fine. Then he hits me. I'm, I'm reading that by the way. I'm, I'm not saying it's fine. Then he hits me with the saliva in your mouth to know whom it belongs to. What the f <laughs> That is so- Oh, that is so cringe. Oh my god. This guy, I'm sure, watches the Lone Wolf Alpha Male videos. Um, rule number 44, never walk alone. Twice. I don't even know what's going with that, but then he hit me with this. I've never cringed so hard. What dark romance book do you think you're part of, sir? I told him that he doesn't have to pretend to be like a dark romance book character. He can just be his authentic self. I was giving him an out. Bro said, I'm not pretending. It just came to my mind, so I said it. I removed him from my followers and unfollowed him. He then texted me and continued to act offended, telling me I'm overreacting. 
I'm so tired of men sexualizing women for the moment they meet, eat them, like get to know me, talk to me, talk me out, take me out on a dinner. The more than just books. Edit. Guys, I have a shitty memory. What he actually said was worse. I'm copy pasting this exact text below. Every drop of saliva in your mouth ought to know that there's someone who's now stealing all of them. Okay. On the behalf of the men in the world, I apologize. Uh, Wild Rubbish is her name on, on Reddit. Uh, that is that's cringe. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> all right, let's see what the comments say. He's 19. Hopefully he learned that his strategy doesn't work that is so true guys will trial and error every possible bad idea until something works that it that I, I i guess i mean i don't know for some guys it works straight away so they don't have to trial and error but for other guys i guess they have to try all right error sending message and unmatch so i a 21 year old male matched this girl i think we had a pretty good start and it was still one day and we had talked a little then this evening i was sending a little message there was an error sending it so i closed the app and opened again to see that her profile was gone from the chats there might be three cases he might got the message and misunderstood then unmatched me he just unmatched me for no reason that i'm aware and there might be unmatched from my side maybe a glitch so i hate to break it to you yeah she's probably unmatched you move on there are plenty of fish in the sea what am i supposed to say to this coffee and egg sandwich i love a good egg sandwich lol i bet you do I, I, I didn't get that. Uh, what does that mean? That is outrageous. What kind of bread? How do you like your eggs cooked? How do you take your coffee? I bet you like your eggs scrambled. Have you tried it with Dash? Easy enough. Wanna grab breakfast? The only right answer. Hold the sausage is crazy. That's actually crazy. All right, I'm tired. Matched with the person. We took the conversation off hinge. Had a lovely telephone conversation and now no communication. It's been three or four days since that phone convo and nothing. Then I just cut my losses and move on to the other connections. I say just move on. Am I wasting my time? I, a 22 year old male, started talking to a 23 year old female on the app. I matched with her after she sent a conversado on one of my prompts. We started talking that night and longer into the convo, I asked for a number. Then I noticed I, when I woke up, she sent it to me. I texted her late in the morning and she responded she was just thinking of me. Then she mentions how wonderful if I had read the message. So from this interaction, I'm getting the impression she's healing me. So we planned to FaceTime. Something came up both nights. He is who she who he says she is because he FaceTimed me when I was in the car and said she was going to call back because the signal was bad. So I'm not worried about catfishing. It's just hard to gauge. She's nervous because damn, I want to see her, but I don't want to make her uncomfortable, which I guess can be weird meeting someone online, even though we've been acquainted. Also, she mentions how she loves doing solar stuff and i'm just damn like do you want to date someone or what miss independent i'm feeling it too i'm not big on zodiacs and i don't know if they're real but the second taurus woman i dated who talked flirty talking like she want to be under your skin but not really showing all the cards which leave me guessing am i overthinking this or what i'd say i'd say just be straight to the point like just say listen man can we just go out on a date facetime properly or you know like what's your deal essentially don't say what's your deal i'm ah uh, shut up Okay, I'm, I'm, I have Riz, but not, it's, it's not good Riz, okay? But um, yeah, you probably just overthinking it. Just talk to her and um, I like doing solo stuff as well, but uh, I, I don't know later. Anyways, yeah, you might, you might just be. So um, yeah, just try it out. Not try it out. But just talk to her, I guess, you know? Like, it's not that fucking hard. What would you do? Okay, there's a person from a high who I see on Hinge. He posts pictures of his girlfriend on Instagram, but is active on the dating app whenever his profile surfaces. I've seen it four times downloading Hinge. I never knew him well, and I don't know his girlfriend at all. Would he send a screenshot with the active now memo in it to show he's still using Hinge? Or would he stay out of it? It doesn't feel like my place, but I'd want to know if I was her. Well, I, I don't, you, you, like, you may as well tell her because you don't know what the situation is, uh, uh dating situations. Might as well tell her, like, you know, you don't want this sound to get free with this. So might as well tell her, but yeah, guys, comment down below which one you guys saw was the funniest or most outrageous story. I personally think the, you know, the overthinking guy was pretty, um, so yeah, comment down below what you guys think and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and, uh, yeah, see you guys tomorrow.